Yeah. 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 Hello everyone! I would like to say happy Monday, but it's actually not, it's Tuesday. I didn't vlog yesterday just because I didn't really have much to vlog, but today is Tuesday. I've had a very busy day, it's actually nearing on 4pm right now, but I've had a really really busy day and it could have turned out a lot worse than it did. Basically my granddad, who lives with my old dog Poppy, um, she's like 14, um, he thought there was something really wrong with her because she couldn't stand properly and then when we went it looked like she'd had a stroke and we were really really worried. So we got her in at the emergency vets and we had to drive all the way there which was like nearly an hour. And then we were all like thinking the worst, we were really, really worried. And then it turns out she has this thing where you like, dogs form crystals in their ears. It's called vestibular disease, I think. If not, I'll have put the correction here, but like, I think that's what it's called. And it basically means that because of the crystals in her ears and because she doesn't move around a lot, it happens to dogs that like don't move around as much, that it's almost as though she's drunk and she like sees three of everything and she can't hear properly and she's struggling to walk because things are like spinning but she was so twitchy but that's because of what it is and she's been given a steroid injection and an anti-sickness injection and yeah it's it's not as bad as we thought it was we really really did worry and she gave us such a fright but apparently it will go away on its own and she's just gonna be a bit drunk for a few days um but bless her I'm glad. I'm so glad she's okay though. So that's what we've done this morning. Then we drove back and we had to reassure my granddad that she was fine. But I've done my makeup just now and I was trying a few new things. You will have to ignore the state of my eyebrows because I plucked them. And yeah, it. I should not be allowed to pluck my own eyebrows. But I thought I would just go, with, go through with you what I used for my face. So for my face makeup, I actually used this all over my face because the foundation I currently have is way too dark for me. So I need to get a lighter one. So I just used this, which is the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser Multi-Use Concealer. This is in ivory and it's just about my skin tone. I'm actually running out of it. But um, I love this stuff. It is so, so good. So yeah, I just did two coats of that all over my face. And then I used the... Collection Last Imperfection Concealer, which this one is on its last legs, um, in extra fair just to put some light underneath my eyes and cover any like blemishes or spots. And then I powdered with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. This is the one in fair and I absolutely love this powder. It's so good. But again, I'm running out, so I need to get another one of those. And then for blusher and bronzer, I went for something a little bit different. Let me try and just open these up so you can see properly what I did use. I did show these in my previous vlog, which is yet to go up. I'm going to finish editing that after I've done this. But I used this bronzer, which is the limited edition sculpting bronzer in this Estee Lauder kit. And it was actually really nice. And then I used the blush that's in here, which is sort of a shimmery pink blush in Pink Kiss. And I absolutely love this. I never normally wear blush that's like this bright. I always use Dandelion by Benefit, which is like really, really subtle. But I really, really liked this. And then I did try and use this powder, the limited edition luminizer, but it wasn't very good. So I ended up using I ended up using this one, which is from the James Charles palette. I think this is called Sister, but I don't know. It's the big highlighter from like the big one in the James Charles Morphe palette. I also use this shade to fill in my brows. I have no idea what the shade names are called. And then for eyeshadow, I went for something a little bit different. So I went for this shade down here, which is the bright yellow. And then I used this shade up here, this like nude color. And these are the transition shades. And then this shade up here, which is like a light brown to create like a crease. And I actually really like it. And it's something that I haven't done in a really long time with my eyeshadow, but I do love this eyeshadow palette and I feel like I should be using more of the colours in it. You can tell I do use some of them quite a lot though. <laughs> and then for eyeliner, I went for the NYX Epic Ink Liner, which I'm absolutely loving right now. This is the black one. 
but I really, really like this eyeliner. It is like my favorite thing, but I'm really struggling with my eyeliner right now because my hands are so shaky recently. Oh, also something I did forget to add is I also used the mini controversy palette and I used the shade My Boyfriend's Purse for the inner corner of my eye. And then for mascara, I went for the Maybelline Lash Sensational, which is literally my favorite thing right now. I absolutely love this mascara and it's so easy to layer. And then for lips, I went for the just Vaseline, the normal Vaseline, because my lips have been really chapped right now. And then I've popped this color over the top, which I th I'm pretty sure these are fake Kylie lip kits. I've had them for a really long time. But this one is in the shade... This one is Coco K, but I really don't think it is Coco K. It's like a nude pink. And the final outcome I actually really, really like. I didn't think I would. I feel like it would look better with a pair of lashes. And I'm not too sure about this lip color with this eye, but I'm wearing yellow pants with pink stripes so i thought that it would go i also was wearing my treat people jumper but i've got oil on it so that's gone straight in the washing machine but right now i'm going to get back to editing and then i need to post some parcels so i'm going to go do that a little bit later too but other than that i don't have much to update you on um yeah i'm gonna go do some editing and get my vlog uploaded and then i will be back with you okay so my edits finished my brows look really strong down here and I'm now going to try and light the fire again. Remember last time when I thought I was going to die? Yeah, I still think I am. I don't trust myself. But my feet have gone numb because my circulation's bad. So, okay. So let's build a fire. You can't see. I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> that one looked very splinter worthy. I'll put three logs in. Now burn. It caught. I'm a fire master. I get so scared that I'm going to do something wrong and like set the house on fire. But <laughs> we actually did okay. I need to figure out what I want for tea. Because I'm not sure. I'm just waiting for my vlog to upload. I need to do the thumbnail on that. Also, no wonder the house is caught. All the doors are bloody left open. Aww. Stanley's taking his ball onto the sofa. Somebody needs a haircut. He's in for an emergency haircut because obviously it gets all in his eyes because he's a shit suit. <laughs> what are you doing that for? But you've got to wait another two weeks yet, haven't you? Someone's not happy because he's been trying to sit with me all day and I've been busy. Hmm. Where's Patchy? Hi. Hmm. Hi. You are so pretty. Aren't you so pretty? <laughs> I'm now going to sort out my thumbnail. It shouldn't take me long. And then I think I'm going to have a call with Lucas, but I need to decide what I want to eat because I just don't know. I made tuna sweet corn pasta earlier, which, yeah, I know. Like, I'm a vegetarian and... Technically, I should not be eating fish. But, like, tuna is the only fish I eat. So, technically, I guess I'm a pescatarian. But only for tuna. <laughs> Can we have a Scratch me, it's not me.
I am very aware I haven't vlogged in a few days. It's now Saturday. I haven't vlogged much this week at all. But I thought we'd give you a little shopping haul because I'm about to put it all away. And then I'm going to sit down and like do a better bit of my stuff that I got because I got a few things in my room which I really, really like. Um, so I'll show those in a second. But just in general, I'm about to put it all away so it's all split up. But these are all the dog things. We've got loads of treats for the dogs. Going to try Thomas with this kitten milk because... Obviously, cats are lactose intolerant, so we're going to try them with that. And eggs, which shouldn't be over here. And then a new toy for Patch. See if she likes that. And we've got all these crisps, chili with Doritos. These look really good, and they're suitable for vegetarians, so I'm excited about that. Crinklies, obviously. Then there's these, which are Haggis Neeps and Tatties flavour, which are obviously Scottish. And then good old fish and chips. And this is a mega sharing bag of the salt and vinegar quavers, so could not resist. Then cheese, cheese strings these which i haven't seen about in ages and then there's like all stuff over here that needs to not be in the kitchen my mum got a new pen for work these are really really nice to put in your no anyway as i was saying before mandy came in these are really nice to put in your washing um they're actually so good and these ones are jasmine flavor we've never tried these before we also got this which i don't really know what it is it's to put like it's like an extension cable but in a cube basically <laughs> Um, then we've got some of these wipes, which smell incredible. It says rainbow drops flavour, like who doesn't want to use wipes that are rainbow drops flavour? And then we've got some of the normal dental ones. And then my mum's got two of these foot packs because she loves using these. They sort of freak me out a bit and she got some new face masks, which are quite cute. And then some toilet wipes. And then over here is like tin stuff and stuff that goes in this cupboard. Um, so we've got spaghetti hoops and then cream of mushroom, some hot chocolate, coffee for my mum, lots of pot noodles, those ones are Lexi's, these ones are mine, um, stuffing, and then all these crackers, these are so good, these tuck biscuits, and then I'm hoping these will taste good with hummus, and then there's just some Jacobs underneath, this mash is also really really good, I can't have this one because it's chicken, but the normal one is so good, and normally I hate instant mash, but it's actually really nice. Some new tea towels, some wraps, because as you all know, I'm loving wraps. I had wraps for my dinner and my tea yesterday. <laughs> and a new bottle of ketchup. And then over here is like all sweet stuff. So sugar, obviously, because we drink a lot in tea. And then these, which I feel like Lexi really likes. He loves iron brew. And they've got iron brew flavoured, like jammy dodgers, but with iron brew in. Some cola bottles. These, I think, are going to be really nice to dip in tea. So I'm excited about that. And some chocolate creams and some honeycomb Kit Kats for the same reason. <laughs> And then chocolate wise, my mum's got Milka Dark, which looks fancy. And she likes this one as well, the Aero Dark and Milk. Then that's for Lexi, the chocolate caramel one. I got some raspberry and coconut ruffles because I haven't had these in ages. And Snickers Crisp, which is so good. If you love Snickers, get these, they're so good. And then some Maltesers cake bars and then a Red Bull. Some grape soda for Lexi and some paracetamol and ibuprofen. And then the rest of the stuff that I got... Um, I will show you in a second once I've put all this away. But do you like my new hat? My Louis hat came today and I really like it. It matches my tattoo that you can't see, but it, you can sort of see, it's there. I wanna know how well this milk goes down with the hummus, so I'll try to give it in here. Oh, well, that goes down well. Hello. I'm back. I've put all the shopping away. And, yeah, now I've got all my stuff to show you, which I'm actually really excited about. Because... I'm going to catch too much jumper. And I thought I'd have a little sit down with you as well, because I haven't vlogged really at all this week. I've just not been feeling it. Like, I haven't had anything to vlog. I've not been doing anything. So, apart from the same stuff I have been doing, which is like going through my room. What is my mattress doing over here? And I've got two mattresses on my bed <laughs> to make it super comfy. I'm currently sipping one of these, which last summer I was obsessed with these. They're so good. They're the Starbucks cafe latte ice drink, like the cold coffee drinks. Anyway, I'm just gonna jump in. I got myself a new lamp. This is all from B&M, by the way. Me and my mum just went to B&M. 
but I got myself a new lamp because a long time ago <laughs> I broke my lamp um knocked it off I really liked the lamp I had and I broke it and I couldn't find one that I really liked but as you can see this like my bed sheets this dusky pink and then I've got like pastel purple all around my room so I thought I'd get a lamp that matched my bed sheets and it's really cute this is the amber ceramic table lamp from B&M and it was five pound so yeah I need to get a bulb to go in that actually because there's no bulb in it but I will be happy to have my lamp back so then I can read without having to have my TV on because I've been getting back into reading my book, which I'm really loving. And then, just randomly, I picked up some more of these padded envelopes because I've got stuff to send off for Depop that I need to do. Then I also mentioned this in my vlog, not, was it last week's vlog or it could have been the beginning of this week's, but I wanted to get some of these, which are like the photo clip led lights and hang them up on my wall so i could hang pictures up on my wall um so i picked up these ones and they're warm lights which i love i didn't really want the pegs to be this big but they were only five pound so i thought why not also the envelopes were one pound 89 i don't know whether anybody cares about that but yeah these were only five pounds so i'll see how they work and if i hate them i can get more off etsy but there's 15 on this so there'll be a cute little string and then the other night I was thinking, like staring at my room as I've been going through it and like rationalising and getting rid of stuff that I really wanted some more fairy lights to go like around the beams in my room because there's a beam that runs there and I think I want to get some fairy lights to go here. I think I want to put some like up there. Um, so I picked up these ones and this is like, it's just a string light of 50 warm LEDs and this was £6 or 5 99 and I'm just going to see how they look because I'm really liking just having fairy lights up. I think I'm going to take my purple ones down. I've still got these ones up and the ones are on my mirror. But I'm just going to see how I like these. And I also have my narwhal ones behind my bed, which I need to sort out. But I just thought I'd see how those go. I also got this cute little mug, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. I really like mugs at the minute. And also when I move out, I'm going to take all my mugs with me. But um. This one, it's got a little sausage dog on it and it says, hello, sausage. <laughs> and I always read it in a Cockney accent and this was £2. But what I really like is that it's like all it's a different feel on the inside. Like it's, I don't know if you can see that. It's just, it's really satisfying. But yeah, I really like that. And it's got like a mustard yellow bottom. I also managed to find these, which I am so excited about. They're literally just normal Oreos, but they're the Lady Gaga Chromatica ones, which is very exciting oh i also got this really cute sign which i'm pretty sure is supposed to be for a bathroom um does it say it doesn't actually say but um i'm gonna put this in my room and i don't know if you can see that it says get naked and yeah i'm gonna put this somewhere in my room i really like it it's this matte black like wire piece i guess but i need to find somewhere to put that but i really really like it and this was five pound i also got these really cute socks which i love wearing these socks with my vans because they're like my like low top vans because otherwise they rub but these ones have got c's on and me and my mum got like matching ones she's got ones with m's on and then there's some spotty ones and just some pink spotty ones um there's some stripy ones and then pink spotty ones um and these were three pound i then picked up a roll up carmex which i haven't actually seen in a really long time but if you've like watched my videos or you know me at all you know i love carmex so i thought i'd try this because it's a lot more helpful especially if i have nails which i never do because of lockdown but if i was to have acrylic nails then these ones and the squeezy tubes are so much more like helpful because instead of sticking your finger in the jar it just also is a little bit gross because then you're left with it all on your finger and yeah so i got this this is just the original scent though then i got nair strips because i need to wax my upper lip I also picked up this hair mask because I've been looking for a new hair mask um, and my hair mask from Catwalk has run out. So I picked up this Herbal Essences one, which is coconut milk, hydrate mask, real botanicals. I want to smell it. Oh, it smells really good. I don't know how good these are. I didn't check. I just picked it up. It was between this one and a Pantene one. So we'll see how this goes. I seem to have picked up a lot of hair stuff without realising. So I got myself some more Batiste. But this one is in Magical and Deep Azure. I literally, I haven't smelt it. But... 
can't smell it. Oh, oh, that is nice. Yeah, I'm glad I picked that up. That can actually go straight in my drawer down by my feet. Because normally I use the blush one, like I've said before, but I just thought I'd try something new. And then I got some Alberto Balsam Ultra Strong Styling Gel, which you might think is weird for me to have. But for Comic-Con, I'm planning on having um, a different coloured hair to this, but I'm going to keep it a secret. And I'm going to slick it back for what I'm doing. So I need to see if like, I can find a gel that's going to hold it. So my grandma used to use this, so I'm going to try that. And this was literally a pound. And then I also got some inset hairspray because this was the only hairspray they had, but I know a lot of people have used inset. And yeah, I'm going to just try things with my hair. And I actually don't think I have any hairspray. Do I have hairspray? Oh yeah, I do. I've got a, I've got a silvicone one. I've got a Wella silvicrin classic one. So now I have two hairsprays, but you can never have too much hairspray. It's hairspray. And then the last thing I'm going to show you, because I picked up the other stuff for a video that I think I'm going to do, um, are these, which I've been looking for some eyelashes for a while and I just haven't got around to um, ordering any offline. And I just saw these ones and I want to mess around with makeup a little bit. And these are the Isla Lux Silk ones. Trillion. Featherlight feel. But they look like this. They were just the most dramatic ones I could find, which they're not that dramatic, but... I thought these ones would be the best and I think these were like three pound so I thought that was really good but I'm really happy with everything that I've got and it's stuff that I've been needing or wanting for a while like my lamp and stuff and then just a few other bits but I'm now gonna go make some tea because I am hungry hello I'm aware I look like a mess but I haven't vlogged since we got back from shopping and it's now like early in the morning. I'm about to go to bed and read and then sleep because I start work on Monday and I don't want to be super, super tired and need to catch up on a bunch of sleep. But since then, I saw Annie for a little bit, which was nice. And then I had a bath, which is why my hair's up in this really like tight top knot bun. Um, and then I'm going to shower tomorrow and do a bunch of skincare. So that'll be nice. I'm also going to wax my top lip because it's getting ridiculous. So I need to do that. I'm going to post all this Depop stuff. I have a poster in this crafty box that me and Annie managed to make. Um, and I've got a couple more things that I need to sort out. I've just had some honey Cheerios, which were really good. And I just tidied the kitchen as well so that my mum doesn't stress when she comes down tomorrow. And I'm just having a cup of tea in my cute little... Oh, I just realised that it's my cute little Zoella mug. It doesn't say it on this side because it's not a left-handed mug. But it says cup of tea. And I think this was actually a Christmas mug. Oh, I did make a good cup of tea. It's very difficult to make yourself a good cup of tea, I found. Oh, yeah. It's funny that I'm using this mug. I didn't choose it on purpose. But today... Well, I guess it was yesterday... But Zoe and Alfie announced that they're having a baby. And it's so cute. I'm so happy for them. Like, I've been watching Zoe since 2011, 2012. Like, that sort of area. If time... <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Um, and, yeah, I've been watching her for a really long time. Like, eight or nine years now. And it's just so nice to see them both happy and getting their little family because obviously a lot of people were like when are you gonna get married when are you gonna do this when are you gonna do that it's like okay leave them alone so it's nice that they've actually shared it with us as well and I know a lot of people are expecting videos and stuff but it'll just be nice to know that they're happy with their little family and that little girl is gonna be so loved and she's gonna be so beautiful and yeah I can't wait to know what they name her if they want to share that with us but yeah oh i also plucked my eyebrows the other day and i took a huge chunk out of the front of this eyebrow so if you've noticed that then that's what that is <laughs> but yeah i had a bath it was lovely i actually managed to use my estrid razor this time turns out a shampoo bottle had exploded in the bottom of my shower so it had got over like everything so that's why my razor wasn't working before and the fact i had oils in my bath so it was like clogging it up but I managed to use my razor and 
yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm going to put my fairy lights up tomorrow, I think. Um, and yeah, do a few more bits in my room. Just make it a nice place that I'll be able to work. Because on Monday I have a two-hour Skype call. So I want to be able to feel good in my bedroom and not be stressing about everything. So I've been doing some more washing today. Like I said, my Louis hat came today. It's been a good day. Me and my mum had a really lovely shopping trip. It was really nice to get out of the house. Even if it is just a and I do bloody love it there. Um, and yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm going to drink my cup of tea. I'm currently watching Dear Carrie's. And I've got to like 2015, like halfway through 2015. And I'm really enjoying them. Because I also remember watching those videos when I, when they came out. And it's nice to reminisce all the stuff like that. I've also, I'm in a Facebook group called Galaxy Defenders, which is a McFly thing. And I think she's the admin. Her name's Megan. Um, she has set people up in like a kindness scheme where you like speak to people for, is it 10 days or something like that? And you get matched up with somebody and it's just like a being kind thing and you can send them stuff if you want to and if you don't then that's fine but I'm pretty sure everybody in this was in the McFly group and yeah me and this guy Joseph I think his name's Joseph we got matched earlier on today and it's just really nice to like talk to somebody that you don't know it's like a really nice way to just spread kindness and be nice and make new friends and things like that. So I hope she carries on doing that because I really enjoyed it. So I want to carry on doing that like every week or whatever. It'll be really nice. I need to do some editing. But I'm now going to go to bed and read. I'm going to finish my cup of tea. And go up to bed. And I'm going to watch some day carry while I'm drinking my tea. Um, but yeah. I will see you all tomorrow for the last day of the vlog. Just before I go to sleep. This is what happens when I bath with my hair in a bun. This is crazy. <laughs> what the hell? I look a crazy scientist. Hello everyone, it's Sunday. It's like half 11 and I've been awake just over half an hour, which I don't think is too bad. I look tired though. Um, but I am ready to begin the day. That smile was really weird. <laughs> Hello, it's half past 12. And I'm showered and I've got dressed. I'm wearing this shirt, which I've got a bralette on underneath, so no panic. But it's really cute. And I got this in a charity shop. It's by the brand St. Michael, I think, which I don't know where that's from. But it's like a big oversized green striped shirt. And then I'm wearing the same jeans I was wearing yesterday, but I never did an outfit of the day yesterday, even though it was a really nice outfit. But they're just ripped black skinny jeans. But I'm going to put a little bit of makeup on. I'm not going to put any skin makeup on because that's what makes my moustache show up. And I'm waxing that tonight. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to do some makeup and then possibly film a video if I have time. I need to film two today, really, before the sun goes down. But <clears throat> I think I'm supposed to be meeting Annie for a walk. So who knows how that'll go but let's just try and get as much done as possible and then I'm gonna go downstairs once I've done my makeup eat some food um put some washing in and see what time we get to there makeup is done it's i'm not sure how i feel about it i've just got um a sort of nude smoky eye like really subtle nude and my eyebrows are pretty strong but that's because i fucked them up <laughs> but the products i used i used this shade in the james charles palette this shade a little bit of the white and this shade up here for my eyes and then this is my eyebrow shade and then 
I used the NYX Epic Ink Liner and I also used this underneath my eyes, which I sort of hit, but we'll move on. <laughs> but it's the only black liner I have right now. It's like a stick. And then I use the Lash Sensational as always. And then for my, I put a little bit of blush on and I used this pink blush in here. And then I mixed the two highlights. So I used this highlight on the end of this palette and the Ultra Illuminating Powder in Pink Diamond, which I really, really like. This is such a beautiful highlight. It's really like um, natural, but it's really, really pretty. I love it. Anyway, now it's time to go see my granddad, which I didn't know I was doing today. <coughs> that came out of nowhere. That came out of bloody nowhere. What I was saying is that I'm going to go see my granddad, which is something I didn't know I was doing today. I completely forgot. So it's not something I've worked out into my plan, but oh well, <laughs> we'll make it work. Okay, it's a little bit later on now. I have packaged some Depop parcels. I have filmed my favourites. I've done a bit of editing. I've been to see my granddad and I'm feeling good. I'm glad I filmed my favourites because the sun is about to leave. The sky does look beautiful outside though. Can you see that? How pretty. Honestly, look at these clouds. How beautiful. Let's just pretend that's not there. Look how pretty. So pretty. But yeah, I just filmed my favourites and it was a lot less chatty than the last one, which I'm glad about. But I'm now going to go and finish packing these Depop parcels and make a cup of tea, then I need to come upstairs and film my dear Lucas, which I'm really excited about. This will all make sense by the time this vlog goes up, hopefully, because hopefully it will be edited and uploaded by the time this goes up. I've also put some lipstick on. It's the bourgeois one that I was wearing a lot before. I don't remember what it's called, but the one that was in my last favorites, it's that one. Then I need to come upstairs and do some work in my room. And I think I'm gonna put some fairy lights up and I am excited. I'm glad I'm getting stuff done and I'm glad I'm having a productive day. I did realize my hair looked sort of weird in my vlog, in my favorites, because of like the colors in my hair and that it's freshly washed. But right now I'm gonna go make myself a cup of tea and then come back upstairs and do my day Lucas. It's just past 5 p.m. I just finished filming my day Lucas and that's all my filming done for today, which I'm really happy about. I now need to go and put some washing in and then come back and start editing. I'm just having a cup of tea in a Christmas mug. But I do still have lots to do. I need to go and finish packing these Depop parcels. I still have one left to do. And then I'm going to wander around to the shop and take those, get myself some fresh air. And yeah, I am feeling good. Do you know what? I have got a serious complaint to make. I have just been finishing off my room and I went to open this box of fairy lights and... There's this in the top, all bunched up, and the rest of it is literally nothing. How much of a waste is that? That's ridiculous. B&M, that is bad. It's now just past 9pm, and I'm about to try and put my fairy lights up. I've been doing lots of work in my room, so now I have lots of clear floor space. There's just a few bits that need doing, but I'm now going to try and put these fairy lights that I have, which are just string lights up here, along there. One set of fairy lights done. My second strip of lights is up. So I put them here for now because I wasn't sure, but I don't quite have enough Harry pictures to fill them all. So I've got like a couple Vampire Diaries ones. And then there's a couple on this end. 
but I love these. These are so cute. Look at the reflection. So you can see these ones up here and then my light bulb and then these ones. I love it. It's 10 p.m. and I literally feel like I haven't sat down, but my room looks really cute. I've got my fairy lights on. I've got these fairy lights on. I've got these fairy lights on. There's fairy lights everywhere. Let's put these on just to join in. Woo, fairy lights. <laughs> I'm about to do my mustache and I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm using Nair wax strips, by the way. These ones are the Japanese cherry blossom and rice brown. They smell nice. <laughs> it does smell like much. I'm so scared. I don't want you to do it anymore. <laughs> it's gonna hurt. It's like you've got to like not move your face. Oh, I'm so scared. I'm trying to get that edge for that one. Oh, it didn't hurt. Sorry. Did it get any? Yeah. <gasps> it's getting it. Got a lump of wax though. <laughs> It actually didn't at all. It hurts less than my eyebrows waxed. <laughs> too close to it. Mm. You went. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't have looked at you. I think I've got it. Yay! No moustache Kerry. Way! Thomas, are you happy? No more moustache! It's now early Monday morning and I am about to go to bed. I'm so happy with everything I've accomplished today and I've been super super busy but lots of cups of tea has been keeping me going there we go. but I thought I would just sign off since we last spoke I've managed to edit and upload my dear Lucas which will be up now so if you haven't seen it I'll leave a link in the description because it's a new little thing that I'm starting on my channel and I'll link Lucas's channel below as well so you can keep up. I'm excited to start work tomorrow and I will keep you all updated on that journey because it's an exciting one. But for now, I'm going to sign off and go to bed because I need to sleep. But if you guys did enjoy this vlog, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you're new. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video. Donate to the charities below if you can. If you can't, please share them and I will see you all next week. Bye!